Junkies, it's Tracy. I wanted to share an album I created for someone using the Graphic 45 Mother Goose collection. I love this collection. It is really, really cute. My book size, it is an eight and seven eighths by eight. Um, and it's a really weird size because I used a box from Bed and Body Works. Um, I received a gift for, from someone and when I was done with the product, I was about to throw the box away and it looked like a mini album. I was like, wow, I'm, let me see if I can use this. So I did. Um, the only thing I had to add was just the, this piece and then the side piece. The cover, I pretty much just used the 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Um, I bought two, I bought an eight by eight pad, a six by six pad, and then two sheets of the 12 by 12. I don't I didn't like the 8 by 8 image because it was too small for this book size so I ended up getting a 12 by 12. And then for the um, for this this paper here I found a pack from this here this black and white which was one of my favorite uh, papers. I, I found the pack from Tuesday morning I think for $5.99 and so I bought that just to, to use it to cover you know the inside of my book since I didn't have the whole 12 by 12 pack so again I just put some stickles on the front pretty much left it as is a few magnets the book was so thick I did have to use extra magnets because my magnets weren't thick enough or actually they, they weren't the paper was so thick um, with the chipboard it wasn't holding so I ended up having to use extra magnets but for the most part it, it came out pretty good for a recycled box from bed um, bath and body works and here's my spine uh, I think it's like a two and a half and for my spine I left it pretty simple I haven't done much to it but I was thinking about adding this little card um, which came in I think I had a pack it came in the a pack um, so I was thinking about adding this to the side here, like this. And then I always like to put a button or something on a tag so it makes it easy to pull out. So I haven't decided yet, I may do that. And here's my back. So my back, I left that pretty simple as well. I just used the paper, um, the twinkle twinkle little star paper. I thought it was really cute. And then here I used a piece of acrylic and with one of my stamps and then I put a little washi tape on the side where the red is and um, use glossy accents to secure it down and then this is the other side so again I left the cover and the back pretty simple um, I am contemplating using a button here and I was thinking about something like this but what I don't like is I like the sheep and I didn't want it to take away from it so I still haven't decided on that so let's look on the inside um, <clears throat> now this is the inside I actually have a pocket here and here's one of those um, buttons here here's a pocket and you just flip this down let's see if you can see this and you can put a picture here and a picture here and then I just put this here and for journaling if you close that there's a tag here and that's pretty simple I mean you can put a pictures on the picture on the back or, or journal on it whichever you like and then the next page is this one I just fussy cut um, from the from the 12 by 12 sheet of paper and I made a frame using, um, I think I used a Sizzix die and made this frame. And then I just put this in. Place your photo here. Now this place your photo here, you'll see this throughout my, my book. Because I know there's a stamp out there in Craft World somewhere. In Craftland, I should say. Um, I have yet to find one. So I have to do this on my computer. And I like to do this because if I, I'm given 
this book to someone who is not really a big scrapbooker. So it's always good to let people know or let them know where they should place the photo. Um, but I cannot find that stamp. So I actually have to go and um, run these and, and do them in my computer. Uh, and here's another one, place photo here. Now, I did find a stamp at, uh, I want to say Hobby Lobby. I found a stamp at Hobby Lobby with a camera on it. And it's actually these two stamps here. So I have been using these since I can't find the stamp that says place photo here. And sometimes it's kind of laborious to have to go and do this in your computer, type it out, you know, print it out. So I, I did find the stamp. So I've been using that. Here's a tag. And I just added this at the bottom just to slide this in here. And then and if you open this, this is the tag here as well. And these were from um, these were from the eight by eight sheet of paper, and these are for pictures. So I stamped the picture and placed the um, place photo here, and then the back is just just my favorite that black and white. I really like that paper; it's really nice. And the same thing with this one; I just did it the same. So you can put pictures in here, <clears throat> and then pictures here. I left this page blank and you can put a picture um, and the reason I did that was because there's a tag in in here in this pocket and there's a magnet in here um, but again if you put if you layer it too much and I'm using the basic gray magnets but if you I'm finding if you layer it too much and you're using the small magnets sometimes it doesn't um, close properly it doesn't stay so I didn't put anything here I just left it so that person can put a picture if she wants um, and if I put another layer then it really wouldn't stay this I just created a little pocket and this was a test I was just trying to see how this would work and it seems like it came out okay um, and again for anytime I make tags I like to put something where you can grip it because you see this tag is flat here and before that the person would have to pull this up so I put I glued um, and I got this from my stash these are just some little stars the polka dot stars so I just glued them on my tag and then I just stamped the back of it or you can journal on it and put a picture and each one of these tags are different sizes because the pocket length is different um, length. so again it makes it a lot easier to pull it out And then I fussy cut, um, fussy cut this out and put a little stickles on it. And, and again, in each page has each page has a large tag. And these tags are pretty big. I think they're like seven and a quarter by eight and some weird size. So you can put pictures on them and. And then this page I left blank because I love this with the nursery rhyme, so I didn't want to cover that up. But I just put a um, border at the bottom to give it some color. And then this was a um, diagonal pocket page. And I pretty much used the paper from the 8x8, used one of the um, little stamps. And then this is just a tag. And again, here's that place photo here. And then same thing here. This was just an extra little tag that I had. And you can journal on here and put a picture on the back. And then this, here's your pocket. And then this page is, um, I just, I had, um, I had a bright idea, but <laughs> I should have backed it with black cardstock and I didn't when I glued the um, stamps down and then I noticed when I put my tag in it didn't stay so I ended up putting a little piece here um, and again this was just from the graphic 45 page I think there I bought like um, I think it was some extra tags or something I think they're like 75 cents or 50 cents online 
So I just bought those and um, just to use them throughout the album. So you can journal on here, put the date of your photo, and then the back of this is the Humpty Dumpty in place photo here. And then this page here is I fussy cut um, Mother Goose. And the goose used a little glossy accent on the moon. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can show you that. Use some stars with some stickles. And then you can place a photo here. And then I left this tag here. I haven't really done anything with it yet. Um, not sure what I'm going to do, if I'm going to leave it or... And then again, here's a little mother goose. I cut this out of the 12 by 12 paper. And then this one has a tag as well. Put this over. Um, belly band page. And I fussy cut um, Little Boy Blue out and put a little stickles. And then again, here's a tag for a photo. And then here's a tag. So there's a lot of space for, for pictures in here, and I may put more tags in before I give it to her. Um, this page is the Humpty Dumpty page. Um, I cut this, I fussy cut this piece out down here from the 8x8 paper, but it was pretty flimsy, and I didn't think it would hold over time, so I used Mod, Mod, Mod Pod and to make it stiff, and it actually worked pretty well. But in the meantime, I ended up putting a magnet in here because I still wasn't sure that it would hold up. And this was just from the um, 8x8 page. And then again, I ran this through my computer and used the stamp. And then on the back, you can journal. And I, now it's pretty sturdy, so when I put it in here, it just, the magnetic, um, the magnet holds it down. And this one has a pay, uh, pocket as well. And then this pitch is, I just used the, um, some more of the black and white, a few stamps on the corners, and um, I used, I have a punch for this page. Please pop out, well, you can pop your um, picture in here. So I just used that. And this I created a pocket page. And then you can put a picture here, and then I just had an extra tag. So I just made an um, extra tag for that. And then I used, I think I had uh, some Meyer Road um, flowers, so I just used those to kind of give it a little more color. And then some of the stamps, and again, this one is pocket as well. This, I fussy cut the flowers here. And Mary Mary Quite Contrary. I thought this was so cute and colorful. And I used I used a dye. Um, I want to say I think it is a Simon Says stamp dye to get this. And then here's one of the buttons. And if you open this. You can see that. So you open that and it's just you can put a picture here and then I left this plain so you can put a picture here and there was a magnet here too so I didn't want to put too much on there. And then the last page is um, this was from the die pack that I that I bought and I backed it with Tyvek just to make it a little sturdier and I made a sideways waterfall. So this populates or this just slides in here open that up and then here's your sideways um, waterfall it's pretty cute and uh, this paper I use from the 6x6 pad and then this is uh, 5x5 I think so there is so on this waterfall there's actually enough room for 10 4x6 pictures and one 5x5 five five back here. This book holds a lot of pictures. Um, you can get at least up to 40 or 50 pictures in here. And then this, um, again, this piece is what I added um, to the box because it was just, it came just like a regular 
box, the book and the spine was already done for me. So I just created this piece out of chipboard and attached it. But it was really fun to make. It was um, definitely a learning experience on some of some of my issues and boo-boos and <laughs> But I think it came out really cute. Now my other dilemma that I'm left with in that I think this is actually my favorite page. And then that closes. And again, here we have the back and then the side. Now my other dilemma I'm left with, I have quite a bit of paper left. Um, although I didn't buy a lot for that reason, I didn't want a lot left. So now I have to figure out what I'm going to do with the rest of the paper. And when I'm done with my albums, and even when I'm making an album, this is how I, this is what I do. I'll go through at night once I'm done and I put my stuff away. I'll sort, I sort my, my paper like this. I mean, it's just a quick tip and this is what I do. I go in and I just sort it what I call um, light strips or whatever, like all these strips are the same. I try to do it like size, same size. And it makes it easier for me when I'm, when I'm the next day when I start again. Um, I had some 8x8 left and here's some more little strips that I have and I always paper clip them together. And I have one sheet of the 12x12 12 12 left. And I have one, two, three, four, five. I think I have about six or seven sheets of this black and white left. So I have to come up with uh, another project or a box or book or something. So stay tuned for that because I just can't um, put this paper away and I don't know, I'll probably never use it again. So I'll probably, I'm, I'll be working on that in the next week or so to see if I can come up with something interesting and fun. But in the meantime, here's my book. And like I said, this was a huge project for me, but it was a learning experience and I love how it came, down, came out. All right, guys, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next uh, Mother Goose project. I don't know what it'll be, but it'll be something. I'm going to use this paper on something and then I'll post it when I'm done. Okay, thanks guys and have a good day.